Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond Galactic Science. So, we're on the way to doing some grinding. Basically is what I'm aiming to do. Now, let's go back and have a quick look. I've got a few problems. So we'll look at those problems again first. We'll sort these out. There's actually two. One is that something you don't really expect to happen. But here, you can see this is 256 blocks uh, of um, blocks 256 stacks of uh, flint so that barrels full now that means this sorting chest will be getting these in and of course it's full which is going to block the rest of the production so we have to be quite careful about that. so we look in here there's nothing actually in there at the moment so actually where would it be coming from here so you can see this is all blocked as well so let's get that sorted out first of all it is actually still my main area so I will just take an upgrade here and a void upgrade always the best way to do it let's put that one on shift right click and that one and then put the void upgrade on here and that should then start to empty that out but what I can do look, that chest is now gone it's completely clear and this chest should also be removing items if we sort it you can see these items are going up So things are progressing. Let's have a look in here. That transfer node's empty, and this one's also empty, so that looks like it's probably clear again. In fact, was probably a good idea. Let's quickly go back and actually put an, an upgrade on that as well for capacity. It'll soon fill up anyway, so. Oh, I don't want recall mode, I want transport. There we go. So that's fairly straightforward, just need some pistons. Well, we'll make about four of these while we're doing it. I th there's a four. Yes, that's good. So we then need eight pistons, and I think I've got pistons in here. Yeah, 62. And I haven't, I haven't got a sorting barrel on there. That's good. So we just basically put that between a set of pistons, and we make these upgrades like that. And let's go back and fix that again. Making sure we've got the apple in our hand, so we don't right-click the transmat... Uh, another time and you can see this one's also been upgraded but it's not been upgraded for uh, anything other than uh, there we go now we can now see it's on there for anything other than capacity I've put that on already haven't I daft I want to put this one on Let me move to a different slot no the ones disappeared from this now it's got more capacity to go up beyond 256 stacks I should probably do that on well, but certainly on coal, probably not diamonds, probably not, maybe, I, maybe even lapis lazuli, I don't know. And sometimes you have to do it over here as well. So we've got irons upgraded already, that's fine. Cobblestone's not coming into here. And the rest of these are fine. This one up here probably doesn't really need it either. I'm not actually mining any more in the, in the other parts of the world. So I've been moving stuff out of here into the main, into the TARDIS anyway. So let's go back again. That's one problem. And last time I thought I had sorted out this with the, I said factory in here. So this is where the factory area is. If I can never get down the ladders, of course. Right, here we go. And sure enough, what I've done is I've added some sand on here. So... So it's actually filling up with sand. And I've removed from here the um, upgrade. So we could put another upgrade in here, couldn't we? For capacity. So now that's got a lot of capacity, 1,024 stacks. So this is actually slowly increasing. So I've added into here a recipe for sand. And if I want to, I can produce dirt. And I reckon that we don't need too much sand, but I wanted some glass, and I wanted some glass for a, a, a grinding process. But here we do have a problem. Let's just come back here and get one block of sand. And I've actually already put sand in here. Ah, it stopped. Maybe it was just uh, working fine. But it was stuck on doing silicon. Last time I looked, it stuck. It looked as though it was stuck on doing um, something else. 
uh, magnesium. So is that blocked? It should have de it should have decomposed it, but I'm not sure what it would have put it to. So we'll look at the recipe for that. Now, the uses of sand. So if we want to go to mine chem. We should be able to find that. So it produces the silicon dioxide. And just silicon dioxide. That's actually quite useful because they would then go into these two here. And as you can see, this one is already full. Let me get my. I'm pretty sure I've got this. I've actually got my jabber hat barrel hammer out of here so no, so with that in a hand we can see what upgrades we've got in there so they're all okay but that's actually maxed up but that should have capacity for another upgrade in here let's go and do those did I bring some with me I did actually didn't I got well got one left let's put that onto here this should go into Silicon. I'm not in a slot. Oh, I know what's on him. It's the hopper. The hopper duct, which I probably. Yes, I am using in this case. Okay, fine. I put hopper ducts on all of them, didn't I? I can actually see it now looking at it carefully. I've got the bottom left hand corner here. That's fine. Though we don't need that much more silicon, and, but it does need oxygen. So let's come back over here. This seems to be working reasonably well. A bit slow, actually. But what we could do, if I come here, if I press come here and look over here, I've got the claim chunks area. So where we are here, we could actually claim some chunks. So if I basically, it looks like it's a bit awkward, isn't it? It's like six chunks to do the whole lot of this. So if I can keep these loaded, now how do I do this? Is it left click? Right click. Or can I even claim them? I forgot what the button is actually. Maybe I can't claim them. I was hoping to keep these loaded in. Anyway, you can see the chunks fairly nicely on this, can't we? And you can see where we are. And you can in fact see the a map of the of the tides, which is also quite nice. There's the bug magic altar, that's quite good, and this is the, the big room. Alright, well, in that case, I don't need to worry about it. I just put in a lump of sand in there, see, and it wasn't being taken, so it must have been a lot of stuff stored in there, so that's what was going on there. Right, now, this area hasn't changed much. I have coloured up some more pathways, and here I've set up a large yellow and black, oh, yellow and grey in this case, to give a warning sign. This is where I want to do the grinding. And I've made this corridor 32 long. And what I'm planning to do is just to lower the, the height of the ceiling by one block. And I'm not sure what I'd like to use for that yet. Maybe we got a choice of these three. And what I was going to do is um, make sure this is only two blocks high, just so that an event can't get into the base. And I was planning to do something like this. And just fill, fill this in like that. And I th I'm not sure whether I like the look of these. These planks might might well do the job quite nicely. And then here, of course, we could use some glass to fill in this area so we can still see out. Actually, that makes it look as it's going dark. I'm sure it isn't. I think that's just a visual effect because the TARDIS is lit up. Anyway, you don't need to put any torches down in the TARDIS, which is also nice. Anyway, I shall do that. But first of all, we need to f go and fix the vat. This is actually a small disco, strangely enough. It's not really a disco, is it? But I'm going to not use it as a disco. So you've got basically, oh, was that a step down? Yes, it's a step down. With doors on the outside there that's quite nice that may be quite appropriate and this so the idea is this has got to be longer than 32 blocks so if we ever get into trouble we can actually come here and then delete the whole of this area i'd have to be careful i don't want to lose all these blocks but actually they're not that expensive oddly enough it's basically uh, eight chronosteel ingots which is about iron iron ingots plus glass or 
smooth tone and I make 64 so it's quite a good return and this was just a little room down here there's nothing actually nothing in here at the moment I had got this set up for fluids but I've changed it a bit this was where I was producing the lava well that's gone but there is a chicken floating around somewhere sounds as though it's just above my head and I still haven't turned off the that either So, let's go back and start to produce now. Have I got it with me? Let's have a quick look. I'm going to put this stuff away for the time being. I don't need it with me. And I'll put the jabber barrel into my bag of holding here because this is where I usually keep the important tools. And the rest of the stuff will just put in this chest over here. And that'll get sorted, hopefully, into the jabber barrel. I'm going to put these out of the way. So that was that was an upgrade for the quantum flux, and these are the quantum flux items in here. So you basically put that on one of the exciters, and I think it's exciter. Because we have forgotten. Jabba should be. Where's he gone to? Here, copper chest. Yeah, this it is. So we've now got the put some of those back in there. that's good and we've got one more of those I should upgrade that again in fact I could upgrade the other one here with a, a structural upgrade 3 the gold ingot one but we'll do that maybe later on off camera so quick check I would like to in fact let's get rid of the sand too for that matter I don't need that with me now and that should go into a sand I've got a, I've got a chest for sand a, a barrel for sand look there So what I'm looking for is the vat. See, I've extended these chests. Of course, I've forgotten where I've put everything. In fact, it might well be in this bag of holding here. No, it's not. Maybe I've put it down already. That's just a painting machine. Let's go and have a quick check. While I'm doing that, I'll eat. Factory is not the place I'm doing this, is it? It's the... Um, I think I put a sign up for it, yeah. Either it's over here. Yes, exactly. Oh. Oh, have I got, how on the earth are cows getting down here? Most peculiar, let's pick them up anyway, I'll take. We'll put this, put those down here, maybe they will. Maybe cows. In fact, I haven't checked what's in here for a little while, is that it? it should be going down to that just below us. Go and check that as well and pick up the third cow. Yes, yeah, that's gone up definitely. 58 wasn't as many as that before. picked up some more green sugar cane so the next thing to do is to find where I've put that uh, uh, probably in the end of our chest which should be this one nope it isn't what have I done with my vat it isn't in here sort that anyway very strange. I'll have to make another one if I can't find it. I know I've got it around. I 
Huh. Isn't that strange? Alright, I shall quickly make another one and come back. Well, I found it. It was somewhere it shouldn't have been, as usual. I put it in the chest where I was doing the animal grinding, so let's go back over there. In fact, And here we are. I'd actually put it in this chest. You probably remember that from the previous video. So let's go down here. So what we now need to do... Actually, I do need a water source. In fact, we're going to do that. I don't think I've done that yet. So we'll put the vat down here, like this. In fact, we'll bring it a bit nearer to the wall. Is that two blocks away? That's probably a good place. And in here, the recipes we want to do is actually this one. So we need water in one side and something else on the other side. So what we can now do, of course, is we have got in here sugar as an output. Actually, not very many. It's for some reason, it's not producing. Is it not taking these? I guess it wouldn't be, would it? I have not configured this as, for, as an output yet. So this thing probably is full. It is. So let's reconfigure this first of all. I'm picking up, that's why I was picking up, oops, excuse me, wrong button, let's get that, yet a wrench, and I reconfigure this one, in fact, we'll have this as both insert and extract, and always extracting, so then, oops, that's wrong, I must have messed that up, I want input and output, and it just still remembers the settings, so the only thing that's going to be output from here is I hope. Sugar cane, I'll just turn this around. All right. And that should actually, oh yes, it's, coming, it's got to come into here as well. So what have we got out in here? I guess we've got that in both directions. So we probably need to reconfigure this one. Hopefully, if I shift left click this, I can then set that to also input and output. And then for, in that case, it's probably a good idea because it was set up to being uh, an insert. Let's make change the color to brown. So brown's coming in here, and we're going to take out of here the um, right click this one, and we're going to ex extract on the brown tunnel here, so that it goes in the right direction anyway. So now, yes, that's good. So now we've got 64 sugar cane in here, and 64 sugar, as we would expect. Phew. So now we can take the sugar out of here. Yep, we can actually extract that out of here because that's already done and put that into this vat. Hopefully it'll not put everything else in. So we maybe I need to put a filter on this. So let's get some item ducts first of all. Bring this up to say here. Here? Yes, that's the one. So now I'm going to make a filter, I think. Probably be a good idea. I don't think I've got one with me for Ender IO. Just double check, make sure. Otherwise, we have to quickly go back and make a, an Ender IO filter. We should make a few of these. Let's just double check whether I've got one to start with. Yes, we have some basic item filters. That's good. Take a couple of those with us anyway, and let's go back again and do this. Hopefully I don't have to keep coming backwards and forwards to this. So that will, we can then put this filter into here first of all, it's probably a good idea. Take this out of here and just take a filter here. Right click that. So on the insert mode, we actually want insert, we actually probably do want both actually. But for start, we'll set up an insert and put a filter into here. So what we want to insert into here is sugar, for one thing. So have we got any sugar with me? No, let's just take a sugar out. Uh, isn't that weird? I've still done that. I really should be more careful. Um. Sometimes when you right click it opens things like chests and sometimes it just transmats you. And I should have been in range, so that shouldn't have been a problem. So 
So one piece of sugar. Then we can wipe this. This. Oops, wrong place. Ah, oh, sugar's already gone into there. Look at that. So now we need some water, which we'll set up. We'll go back to that fluid tank place that we had set up before. I've got the fluid ducts with me here, I think. Some fluid duct con conduit, which I have. And I've also got, I think I've got fluid duct cable interface. So what we'll do here is we'll put one of these cable interfaces onto here. So let's get this reconfigured first of all. This we haven't done before, I don't think. Now this is actually different than the other one. So if I come back here with it, here I can actually select the fluid tank interface. So that's now configured to tank one, and you've got um, six tanks, and then you can configure it to all tanks, which is the default. So tank one here, as we're going to extract items out of here. So let's get those fluid ducts out of here, and just put those straight into the back of this, I reckon, like that. So we want this as an output mode. Actually, input and output might be correct. No, we basically want put, put in water, don't we? So we want this as an output and extract. Auto extract. Always active. And on here, we'll just set it to, it doesn't really matter in that case. It just wants to be an insert like that. And then you got arrows pointing to the direction of here. So we should get water in. So let's go and set up the water next. So I want to do that in my little tanky area, which we had created earlier on, which I think is just down here. There's a chicken. I wish I could actually get to that chicken and... Right, and kill it, as I'm going to think enough. Right, so what we'll do is we'll just create a very simple water source here I reckon whatever got with me that would be nice I've got some cobblestone not very really pretty but I'll use some other blocks to start with we'll just do a oops no I don't want that or oh, four by four actually a three by three is just fine No, it isn't. <laughs> I'm just thinking I need a, I'm going to do a four by four and then I'm going to extract that four by four into using um, extra utilities. And then I'm going to take, put that into an ender tank, which I haven't built yet. So let's do that. I need some more cobble anyway. I don't think I've got cobble. And I've got some, but I've got plenty of water. So I'm not going to run that just out yet, just until we've done the rest of it. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this one here. I'm going to put the other conduit uh, fluid duct interface on here like this. And then I'm going to configure this to tank one. Like that. So what we need, I'm going to put an ender tank here. Because they fell, they only hold 16 buckets, which is fine. And I'm going to feed that using um, extra utilities, I think. In fact, in that case, we will create a 3x3. Three three. I still don't have enough, but a 3x3 three three will be fine. So we'll put that down there, like that, and then get rid of this one. Put that down there. So we just need another three blocks plus. Some item, uh, other items, let's have a look what we got with this. I probably might actually have a fluid transfer node. I've got world interaction good updates, good, and I've got some of those, fine. Oh, I've got, got plenty of couples, so I don't need to go back for that, good. In fact, let's have a quick look in there. Did I see other stuff in that chest that we could use instead as a decorative block? I've got tin decorative crafts. I don't have any, no. I'll probably put them already back. So I'll replace these later on. So the way to do this is to put a block down there. It doesn't matter what we put down. I'm using cobblestone. And then we just take the duct out of here like this. So we need one of those. And we need one world interaction upgrade. I don't think speed's going to be a problem. So we'll just take a couple of these out of here like that. So you put this down here. 
And once that's down, you can then remove the block that it's sitting on, like this. And then you can take two buckets of water and fill that in. So let's do that next. Now, it won't have any water in there yet. Let's get rid of this until we put the world interaction upgrade in. So you right click that, there's no water in there. So when you put that in, then the water's there, so it's being extracted out. So we'll just, well, then we'll just put on top of, say, here, the, this pipe. This actually works slightly differently in this version of Extra Utilities than the old, and uh, the new version of Extra Utilities 2. You'd have to put two pipes to bring it out here. So we can then put an ender tank here and then join that. We'll do that as well with a fluid conduit. So let's put that down like that, shift clicking it. I don't think I can configure this yet, let's have a look. So we want this to be inserted, don't we? So it goes in that direction. And then when we put the tank in here, we can extract that. So water will come in here to the tank and then we'll go and get that. So let's go and quickly build the tank. Open on one, I need to be in transmat down time. Ah, I went past it. So an ender tank, I'm not sure what we need for that. But it's fluid tank, this one. So just iron bars and a piece of glass we got. We've certainly got, oh, we've got everything we need. Four of those, some glass. In fact, we can take some of these blocks with us and make that a little bit more attractive. Let's use these. And we want it for iron, don't we? One, two, three, four. That's a pressurized, we don't need pressurized. Like that. Okay, let's go back and get that set up. Oh, whoops, wrong place, might have known. Yep, I saw that egg as we were coming down there. In fact, let's just put this into place for at all, like this. And then you'll see that's filling up, which is fantastic. And then we just need to configure this connection here. So we want that to be uh, an extract always active and then we should see water coming into here and then we should you see actually if we right click this now it says how much water is in the tank so it's filling, so it's now filled up the um, the vat on the other side and it's actually filling in this now so we get 16 buckets of water 16,000 millibuckets 16 buckets of water in the tank as well so it's a bit like an end dryer tank so what I'm going to do now is quickly replace these blocks here in fact, I'll bring it like this, it's probably easier, isn't it? It'll make a bit of a mess, but no matter. We shall soon fix that. Yeah, as I suspected, a little bit of a mess, so. But there's no danger. There's nothing to be knocked away as we do this anyway. I just have to be careful I don't knock out the wrong thing when I'm doing this as well. There we go. So that is now ready for operation. So the last thing we need in this process, in fact, let's go. Actually, it's just here, isn't it? In the wrong way. Well, actually, take some. Yeah, it's downstairs anyway, isn't it? So we don't need to worry about that. Huh. Last product thing we need is some um, meat. You see, now it's already got st stack and six. This is the diamond sword still okay in here. 
I could actually put a hopper on that with another sword, which I probably will do stage at some stage. I don't think I've got one with, one with me at the moment. So now this should have water in it. Yes, it does look. So the last thing of this is put the meat in here. And over time, this should use power and produce nutrients here. That nutrient we will use. We need to extract it out and put that into the, I say, a second tank. I'm just wondering if I can do that without uh, using a separate. Maybe I can. If we create another roundel here and put another item on it, we probably can just route it that way, I suspect. I don't think I can route it through here. It would be nice if you could, but I don't think you can, otherwise it just use the water tank, wouldn't it? So that is for next time. So until then, I'm going to say bye for now.